Hey, what's going on, guys? Siz English Club o'z kanalida siz. Sizlar bilan doimgidek Shohrux AK. Do'stlar, bugun avvalgi darsliklarda eslatib o'tganimdek, IELTS reading darsligimizning 3-chi so'nggi qismi bo'ladi. Ya'ni bu video darsligimizda sizlar bilan birgalikda avvalgi darsliklarda tarjima qilgan passageimizga oid savollarga javob beramiz. Ya'ni bugungi savollarimiz 13 ta savol bo'ladi. 1 dan 8 gacha true false not given tipdagi savollar va undan keyin 9 dan 13 gacha yozma shaklda javob beriladigan savollar bo'ladi. Hozir mana shu darsligida o'sha avvalgi ikkita video darsligida tarjima qilgan reading passage ga oid savollarni bajaramiz. Agar siz avvalgi darsliklarni ko'rmagan bo'lsangiz, o'sha videolarni albatta ko'rib olishingizni tavsiya etaman, chunki mana bu darsligida menga follow qilib borishingiz osonroq bo'ladi. Qani bo'lmasam, bugungi darsligimizni boshladik. Xo'p, birinchi savolimiz. Xo'p, demak, bular true false not given bo'ladi. Umid qilamanki, sizlar bu qanday tipdagi savolligini bilasiz. Shuning uchun shunday deb umid qilgan holatda birinchi savolga o'tib ketaman. Xo'p, aphantasia. Aphantasia is a condition which describes people for whom it is hard to visualize mental images. Mm-hmm. Demak, aphantasia deyapti. Tekstimiz esingizda bo'lsa, aphantasia haqida edi, ya'ni kasallik haqida. Is is a condition which describes people for whom it's it's hard to visualize mental images. Demak, savolda aytyapti, mana shu aphantasia deyapti. Bitta holatki, uh, holatki, ya'ni odamlarni tasvirlaydi. Bitta holat qaysiki odamlarni tasvirlaydi? Uh, kim uchun deyapti? Fahum kim uchunki? It is hard. Qiyin deyapti. Qiyin to visualize, tasavvur qilish mental images, ya'ni aqli suratlarni, aqli tasvirlarni. Demak, aqli tasvirlarni mana shu kasallikka uchragan odamlar tasavvur qilishi qiyin deyapti bu yerda. Demak, hard to visualize mental images. Mana shu narsaga e'tibor berishimiz kerak. A fantasia. Endi tekst tekstga qaytamiz. Savolni man ma'nosini eslab qolishga harakat qiling. Hozir bu yerda so'rashib ko'ramiz. Demak, gapni o'qib ko'ramiz. Most people can readily conjure images inside their head known as their mind's eye. But this year scientists have described a condition, mana condition, qanaqadir kelyapmiz, a fantasia. Mhm, mana, a condition of fantasia in which some people are unable to visualize mental images. Mhm. Mana mana shu gap hozirgi gapimiz haqida, hozirgi savol haqida ketyapti. Shuni belgilab qo'yamiz. In which some people are unable to visualize mental images. Mana shu narsa bizga juda ham kerak. Unable to visualize mental images. Endi gapni solishtirib ko'ramiz. Unable to visualize mental images. Savolda aytgan edi hard to visualize mental images. Hard to visualize mental images. Demak, bu bizga hozirgi bizni savolimizga bu to'g'ri kelmaydi. Shuning uchun biz bu yerda false ni tanlak tanlasak, to'g'ri javob bo'ladi. Demak, bunga false bo'ladi. Xo'p, sabab oddiy, chunki ups, 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 hozir no bo'lyapti. Xo'p, mana false. Demak, bunga false tanladik. Sabab bu yerda hard to visualize deyapti. Hard to visualize mental images, ya'ni o'sha aqli suratlarni tasavvur qilish qiyin bo'ladi o'sha odamlarga deyapti. Qiyin bo'ladi. Endi bu yerda qiyin bo'ladi demayapti. Bu yerda aytyaptiki, unable to visualize, ya'ni umuman tasavvur qila olmaydi deyapti. Demak, bu false bo'ladi. Bu savolimiz ketdi. Xo'p. Buni o'chirib turamiz hozirchalikka. Endi ikkinchi savolimiz. Neil Kenmir was unable to count sheep in his head. Xo'p, esingizda bo'lsa, o'tgan safar tarjima qilganimizda xuddi mana shu gap bor edi. Neil Kenmir was unable to count sheep in his head. Demak, count sheep. Sheep haqida gap ketyapti. Sheep haqida gap ketyapti. Tepaga qaytamiz. Xo'p, davomida o'qib ketamiz. Ko'pincha IELTS bajargan paytingizda, IELTS reading qilganingizda savollar ketma-ketligida keladi. Ya'ni bitta savolga bajar bitta savolga javob berganingizdan keyin keyingi savol ko'p holatlarda o'sha javob berganingizdan pastda bo'ladi. Tepaga qaytib chiqmaysiz. Ko'p ko'p holatlarda demak pastki qismda bo'ladi. Demak, davom etamiz. Neil Kenmir, demak bizga mana shu odam kerak edi. Neil Kenmir 
from Lancaster has always had a blind mind's eye. He knew he was different even in childhood. My stepfather, when I couldn't sleep, told me to count sheep. Aha, uh -huh, count sheep, mana. And he explained it what he meant. I tried to do it and oops I tried to do it and I couldn't. Demak aytyapti, men harakat qildim, lekin sanay olmadim deyapti. I couldn't, men qila olmadim. Demak, bu yerda told me to count sheep and tried to do it and I couldn't. Demak, uni o'gay otasi qo'ylarni sanashni aytibdi, xulay olmagan paytda va u harakat qilib ko'ribdi, ya'ni Neil Kenmur gapiryapti bu yerda. Harakat qilib ko'ribdi, lekin qo'lidan kelmabdi. I couldn't. He says, yani Neil can mirror it up. In so all you got to say, Neil can mirror was unable to count sheep in his head. The mag bu to patora bolada. Hop, sabab, hosergi gap, hosergi text tag gap, manashum balan perhel tripta. Hop, domitamas. Umid qilaman ki, tekstni u yoq-bu yoqqa yurg'izishim ko'zingizga qanaqadir nagruzka bermayapti. Boshqa ilojim yo'q, tepaga pastga tushib chiqib qilishim kerak. Xo'p. 3-chi savolimiz. People with aphantasia struggle to remember personal traits and clothes of different people. Mhm. Mm Demak, aytyapti, people with aphantasia struggle to remember personal traits. They might remember personal traits and clothes of different people. They might say all that yapta. Mashi a fantasia blank casalang odam night yapta. Shu fantasia lick odamle, manish casalic bor odamle. Struggle, kina la de yapta. Judiam uruna de harakat kla de kina la de yapta. To remember a slash care personal traits. They might go to shahsi. Kanakadar uzge hot odamlan, but shahsi uzge hosti larna. Personal traits. And clothes, kim lara, kim lana of different people. Turli xil odam lana. Demak, turli xil odam lana. Demak, uzi xosli gina va kim larni eslashte kina lada diyapta. Shu afantazia bilan kasalenga odam lana. Demak, remember, struggle to remember personal traits and clothes. Mana shunga oid kab bor eda qayar dador. Hazar koramas. Qayar ahar ge sin oh. Man bujay bilgi lab qaylek. Shu yar da taqti yana mizze. Bildirish uchun, mana shunda holatda. Xo'p, davom etamiz. Our memories are often tied up in images. Think back to a wedding, uh, first day at school. As a result, Neil admits some aspects of his memory are terrible, but he's very good at remembering facts. And like others with a fantasia, he struggles. Aha, uh -huh, he struggles to recognize faces. Mhm. Mm struggles to recognize faces. Yet he does not see a fantasy as a disability, but simply a different way of experiencing it. Life. Mm -hmm. Struggle to recognize faces. Ironically, Neil now works in a bookshop, although he largely sticks to nonfiction aisles. His condition begs the question what is going on inside his pictureless mind? I asked him what happens when he tries to picture his fiancee. Fiance. Uh -huh. This is the hardest thing to, to describe. What happens in my head when I think about things? Mm -hmm. He says, When I think about my fiancé, there is no image. Uh -huh. But I am definitely thinking about her. I know today she has her, uh, her hair up at the back. She's brunette. But I'm not describing an image I'm looking at. I'm remembering features about her. That's the strangest thing, and maybe that is a source of some regret. Hop, 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 hop. So, all you can't do is be the sure to go up. Can I get a look? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's get up to you. Killian Sawalamas. Ah, which in Sawalada. People with a fantasia. People with a fantasy struggle to remember personal traits and clothes of different people. Hobu Narsa Hakada Gap. Ketmagan. They might be not given Bolada. Birda, uh, but Fakat Kina was a bit odam, was a hakade gapper yapte, and it was a fiance, 
o'sha tur bo'lajak turmush o'rtog'ini haqida faktlarni eslashi shu haqida gap ketyapti, lekin mana shu odamlar in general, ya'ni all people with a fantasia, ya'ni o'sha in general, mana shu fantaziyaga uchragan odamlar personal traitlar bilan kiyimlarni, clotheslarni eslashda qiynalish haqida gap ketmagan. Bu not given bo'ladi biz uchun. Xo'p, not given. Not oops. Not given. Xo'p, not given. Yana ozgina o'qib ko'rsak bo'ladi asli. Boshqa mavzuga qani. It's a hard thing to say what happens in my head. Mana bu joyga ham ozgina o'qib ko'raylik yana chiqib chiqib qolsa keyin adashib yurmaylik. The response from his mates is a very sympathetic. You are weird. But While Neil is very relaxed about his inability to picture things, it's often a cause of distress for others. One person who took part in, in a study into a fantasia said he had started to feel isolated and alone after discovering that other people could see images in their heads. Being unable to remain... Bu uh, boshqa narsa haqida gap ketyapti bu yoqda. Demak, biz hozirgisi not given bo'ldi. Struggle to recognize faces Mana bu joyi belgilab qo'ysak bo'ladi. Bu yerda faqatgina mana shu Neilni o'zi haqida gap ketyapti. Hech qanaqa odamlar haqida, ya'ni shu fantaziyaga uchragan odamlarni odamlar shu bilan qiynalish haqida gap ketmagan. Xo'p, keyingi savolga o'tib ketsak bo'ladi. Neil, to'rtinchi savolga kelgan. Neil regrets that he cannot portray an image of his fiance in his mind. Mhm, esingizda bo'lsa, bu Mana shu imin shu gap tekstni o'qib yapgan paytimizda chiqqan edi. Menimcha bu to'chni true bo'ladi. Hozir ya ko'rsatib qo'yaman qayerdaligini. O'qiyotgan paytimda hozir chiqdi. Demak, Neil afsuslanadi deyapti. Nimaga afsuslanadi? That gap ulanyapti. He cannot portray an image. Ya'ni o'sha tasavvurga tasavvur qila olmaydi deyapti. Portray degani o'sha biror nimani chizish ham chizish tasvirga tushirish portray he cannot portray an image of his fiance in his mind demak xayolida uni bo'lajak turmush o'rtog'ini suratini yoki tasvirini yuzaga keltira olmaydi ya'ni tasavvur qila olmaydi mana shu gap xuddi shu yerda kelgan edi regret degani regret qiladi deb i'm looking at mana shu yerda gap but i'm not describing an image i'm looking i'm looking at I'm remembering features about her. That's the strangest thing and maybe that is a source of some regret. Mana mana shu gap hozirgi savolimizga javob bo'ladi. Tarjimasi demak, aytyapti, maybe, balki that is a source of some regret. Mhm, balki aytyapti, bu afsuslanishni bitta manbasi, ya'ni mana shu bir qandaydir afsuslanish degan ma'noda aytyapti. Yana tushamiz pastga. Xo'p. Bu savolimiz ham ketdi. Endi 5-inchisi. Inability to picture things in someone's head is often a cause of distress for a person. Mhm. Inability to picture things in someone's head. Demak, aytyapti. Inability to picture things in someone's head. Ya'ni odamni uh, boshida, odamning miyasida narsalarni tasavvur qila ol, ololmaslik, ololmaslik inability, ya, biror nimaga qobiliyat bo'lmaslik, ya'ni qila olmaslik deyapti, is often test is a cause of distress for a person. Demak, odam uchun qanaqadir bu haligi uh, stress deyapti. Stressning sababi inability to picture things in someone's head often a cause of distress for a person. Mana shu haqida ham gap ketgan edi. Mana bu joyda qayerda to'xtadik? Mana. Mates is a very sympathetic you are weird but Neil is very relaxed about his inability to picture things. It's often a cause of distress for others. Aha. Mana shu joyda one person who took part in a study of fantasy said he had to start to feel isolated and alone after discovering that other people could see images in their heads being unable to Reminis about his mother years after her death led to him being extremely distraught. Mana shu gap, mana, mana shu oida. Korushengiz mumkin. 
Mana mana bu joydan uz manos chiqib kelgan. One person who took part in a study into fantasia said he had to start feel isolated and alone after discovering that other people could see images in their head. Demak, boshqa odamlar miyalarda tasvirlarni ko'ra olishlarini bilgan bilgan odam deyapti, ya'ni o'sha fantaziya borasidagi studiyada qatnashgan juda ham isolated alone, ya'ni ajrab qolgan, yolg'iz his qilishni boshladi. Keyin davom etyapti. Being unable to reminisce about his mother years after her death led to him being extremely distraught. Mana shu gap. Demak, eslay olmaslik deyapti. Onasini onasi haqida yil onasini o'limidan yillar o'tib onasi haqida eslay olmasligi, ya'ni uni o'sha tasavvur qila olmasligi juda ham mana mana shu distraught, extremely distraught. Juda ham juda ham o'sha siqilgan, o'zini yo'qotib qo'ygan, stress bo'lgan holatga olib keldi degan ma'noda kelyapti. Demak, mana shu gapimiz hozirgi qayerda edi? Hozirgi mana shunga javob bo'ladi. Belgilab qo'yamiz buni va mana shu holatda 5-chisi shu bilan true bo'ladi. Endi 6 All people with with a fantasia start to feel isolated or alone at some point of their lives. Hozir esingiz bo'lsa, xuddi mana shu isolated alone. Mana shu narsaga e'tibor beraylik. Hozir bizga kerak bo'ladi. Hozir o'qidik shuni. Demak, aytyapti, barcha odamlar a fantaziyaga uchragan barcha odamlar deyapti, his qilishni boshlaydi. Nima qani his qilishni boshlaydi? Isolated, ajrab qolgan, alone, yolg'iz at some point of their lives, hayotlarini qaysi bir nuqtasida Endi xuddi avvalgi savolga top javob topgan joyimizda mana shu joy bor edi mana. One person who took part in a study into a fantasia said he had to start he, he he had started to feel isolated and alone after discovering that other people could see images in their heads. Demak, mana shu joy o'zi. One person who took part in a study into a fantasia. Demak, a fantasia borasida qilingan studiyaga Sadida qatnashgan bitta odam deyapti. One person e'tibor bering. One person bitta odam deyapti. Started to feel boshladi his qilishni qanday isolated and alone. Demak, yolg'iz ajrab qolgan his qilishni boshladi. Ya'ni boshqa odamlar xayollarda suratlarni tasavvur, ya'ni suratlarni ko'ra olishlarini bilgandan keyin. Endi bu yerda aytyapti. All people deyapti. All people with a fantasia start to feel isolated or alone at some point of their lives. U yerda esingizda bo'lsa, mana bu joyda faqatgina bitta o'sha study, bir dona study, a fantasiyaga qilingan studyda bitta odam shunaqa his qilganini aytyapti bu yerda. Ya'ni study haqida gap ketyapti bu yerda. Endi bu yerda aytyapti, barcha fantaziyaga uchraganlar deyapti. Barcha fantaziyaga uchra, a fantaziya kasalligi bilan kasalligi chalinganlar yoki mana shu holatga uchraganlar deyapti. Isolated va alone his qiladi deyapti. Endi bu bir-biriga to'g'ri kelmaydi, chunki u yoqdagi faqatgina study haqida gap ketyapti. Bir dona odam o'sha studiyada tekshirilgan, qanaqadir analiz qilingan fantaziya borasidagi research deysizmi, study deysizmi, shundagi bitta odam haqida gap ketyapti. Endi bu yerda barcha odamlar shuni his qiladi deb a fantaziyaga uchragan odamlar haqida gap ketyapti. Shuning uchun biz buni not given deb belgilashimiz mumkin. Ya'ni not given bo'ladi. Xo'p, endi 7-chi savolimiz. Lauren Bird's career depends on her imagination. Mhm. Lauren Bird, demak, mana shu odamni topaylik oldin. Aytyapti, bu yerda Karerasi, Lauren Bird's Bird'ni karerasi depends on bog'liq deyapti her imagination. Uni uh, tasavvuriga. Lauren Bird, mana shu odamni topaylik, Lauren Bird'ni. Mana shu joydan ko'ramiz. At, at the other end of spectrum is children's book illustrator Lauren uh, uh, Lauren Bird, whose work on the fairy tale series will be familiar to many 6-year-olds. Her career mm-hmm, relies on the vivid images that leap into her mind's eye. Mhm. Bo'ldi, mana shu gapni o'zimizga yetarlik. 
demek bir şeyler dayat yaptı. Yani özü Lauren Beard hakkında gap başlandı. Lauren Beard'ın tasvirli hap keli yaptı ve her career de yaptı. Onun kariyerası relies on. Rely on, depend on bilen ıı, manası sinonim. Yani ıı, sinonim sözler. Relies on, bağlıq de yaptı. The vivid images. Yani tınıq tasvirler. That leap into her mind's eye. Demek mind's eye bu işte imagination'ını başka şekilde tasvirler. Imagination ile ıı, sinonim ıı, phrase. Demek şunda bizni ya mana bu albatta true bo'ladi. Ya'ni to'g'ri to'g'ri. Xo'p, bu ham bo'ldi. Xo'p, endi keyingi 8-savol. The author met the author met Lauren Beard when she was working on a comedy scene in her next book. Mhm, mm demak author demak aytyapti author deyapti, met Lauren Beard. Mana shu Demek author uh, Lauren Bird'dan üçüreşken haqdaki joyu topuşumuz gerek hazır. Gapın tarzıma kuvu olasak, manamca yaxşı bu olasak. Demek üçüreşti deyip de, üçüreşti Lauren Bird'dan kaçan, kaçan ki she was working on a comedy scene. Mm -hmm. Demek komediya sahnesi de, o komediya sahnesi de işleyip gendi. Komediya sahnesi üstü de işleyip gendi. Yani in her next book, kengi kitabı. Kengi kitabını komedi sahnesi üstü işleyip kendi Lauren Bird'dan üçüreşti. Kim üçüreşti? Author. Yani yazı uçı. The author. The author met Lauren Bird. Demek ki, şu yazı uçı Lauren Bird'dan üçüreşti kendi cahitini topaydık. Xoğab, bana. When I met, ya boşlandı uzun. When I met her in her box room studio, In Manchester, she was working on a dramatic scene in the next book. Bu oldu mu? Anlaştık yapma, o zaman yeterlik. Demek ki, Matt gel yaptı. In her box room studio in Manchester, she was working on dramatic scene in the next book. In the dramatic scene, ne bu oldu? Dramatic scene, bana bu 8. sağol ki karar edin bu olsak. Dramatic plan, comedy, tizkarın arsalar. Dramatic. Dramatic uh, komediyini tezgarısı buladı. Şunun için bunumuz false buladı. Bir yerde uh, birilgen savallı et yaptı. Comedy scene de işle yaptı de yaptı. Comedy scene nüsü de işle yaptı de. Uh, Uyağda ise dramatic scene. Şunun için false buladı. Hopiyende 9'dan 13 geçe. Bana uh, bir yerde yani 5'de savallımız kaldı. Benimce böyle yaz, yazılı diyen savallı True, false, not giving us an answer. Also, no problem. In the short and simple language, write no more than two words from the passage for each answer. The mark har bitta jawab chun no more than two words. Ikta soz dan kopul masli kere yapta. Bitta soz yok ikta soz. Manushnar sige itbar birish mas kere. Ho bosh dadik. Tokas. Only a small fraction of people have imagination as the mother soz. As Lauren does. Mm-hmm. Ho, mana shakda gap kitkan ede. Ot kiyas var tarjima qilgan mizde. Demek bir dayet yaptım. Fakat kine, jüdiyem kitkine kısmı, kısm adamların kitkine kısmı have imagination, tasavvur bor. Dek kim dek yaptı? Ne madur mana joyd mana bu joydin ne madur söz? Dek uh, Lauren does. Yani Lauren does. Dagi dek, dek ama o da. Lauren Daz'ı da bor dagi, uh, Lauren Daz'ı imagination'ı dek. Dek ama o da kel yaptı. Demek, Xoğb, as Lauren Daz. A small fraction of people have imagination. Xoğb, yerde etibar verişimiz kerek bolgen söz. Etibar verseniz, as, as Lauren Daz. As, as kel yaptı. Manışın ge oğuşaş, manışın ozı. Mana shu grammatika bo'yicha kelgan bo'lish ham mumkin tekstda as as yoki xuddi shunga o'xshagan grammatika bo'yicha kelgan. Demak, solishtirgan holatini topishimiz kerak Lorenga solishtirgan odamlarni. Odamlarning imaginationini Lorenga solishtirgan joydan topishimiz kerak. Men eslayapman, o'tgan safar tarjima qilgan joydimiz qayerda edi? Mana, mana bu joyga kelishimiz mumkin. Not many people have mental Ah, not many people have mental imagery as vibrant as Lauren. Mana şu an oza 
yetarlik. Or as blank as Neil. Bizga Lauren kerak edi. Mana ko'ryapsizmi, grammatika bir xil kelgan. As vibrant as Lauren. Demak, aytyapti, not many people. Ko'p odamlar, unchalik ko'p odamlar emas degan ma'noda. Not many people. In the small fraction of people ham kamgina odamlar. Not many people, ko'p ko'p odamlar emas. Ya'ni kam odamlar degan ma'noda. Have mental imagery as vibrant. It bor bering, as no o'rtasida kelayotgan so'z bizga kerak bo'lgan so'z vibrant so'zi. Shuni copy qilamiz. Va mana bu joyga olib kelib, so'zni qo'ysak, vibrant. Mana shu so'z bizga kerak bo'ladi. Demak, only a small fraction of people have imagination as vibrant as Lauren does. Mana shu 9 bo'ladi. Endi 10-chisi. Uh, hyperfantasia is nimadir so'z to uh, fantasia. A fantasia. Mhm. Endi bizda bir uh, hyperfantasia haqida gap ketgan joyni topsak bo'ldi. Demak, uh, giperfantasia uh, a fantasiyaga nimadir deyapti. Ikkitasini solishtiryapti. Demak, hyperfantasia hyperfantasiyani topsak bo'ldi. Qaytamiz orqaga yana. Mhm. When she read sex from when I met her. O, belgilab qo'yaylik, mana bu joy, mana bu joy belgilab qo'yaylik. Keyingi savolni olib ketishimiz oson bo'ladi. Xo'p. They are two extremes of visualization. Adam Zeman, a professor of cognitive and behavioral neurology, wants to compare the lives and experience of people with a fantasia and its polar opposite hyper fantasia. Mhm. Mana shu joyni o'zi bizga yetarlik. Demak, a fantasia and its polar opposite hyperfantasia. Demak, bizga kerak bo'ladigan so'z polar opposite, ya'ni teskarisi, polar opposite. Mana shu so'z kerak bizga. Polar opposite. Endi bu yerga kelsak, uh, hyperfantasia is polar opposite to a fantasia. So'zni qo'ysam, ma'nosini ko'rishingiz mumkin. Demak, Tepada gaplar bir xil bo'ladi shunda. Uh, Giperfantaziya, uh, afantaziyani shunday teskarisi, uh, qoq teskarisi degan ma'noda. Endi 11-chisi. There are a lot of subjectivity in comparing people's imagination. Somebody's vivid scene could be another person's yana nimadir so'z bu yerda. Qanadir so'z kerak bizga yoki uh, phrase Demak, aytyapti, uh, ko'p in comparing people's imagination. Demak, odamlarni uh, tasav, tasavvurini solishtirishda subjectivity, ya, subyektivlik bor deyapti. Juda ham ko'p subyektivlik bor. Ya'ni bu fakt narsa emas, subyektivlik bor deyapti. Somebody's vivid scene, kimidir tiniq bir uh, o'sha tasviri could be another person's bo'lishi mumkin, boshqa odamning nimasidir. Demak, bu yerda subjectivity degan so'z bizga kerak. Subjectivity uh, odamlarni imagination compare qilingan lekin haqida gap ketish kerak. Subjectivity. Qaytamiz kelgan joyimizdan. Qayerda to'xtagandik? Mana, mana shu joyni belgilab qo'yaman. Topdigan joyimizda. His team based at the University of Exeter coined the term of fantasia this year in a study in the journal Cortex. Davom etamiz. Prof Zeman tells the BBC people who have contacted us they are really delighted that uh, this has been recognized and has been given a name because they have been trying to explain to people for years that there is this oddity that they find hard to convey to others. How uh, how we imagine is clearly very subjective. Mhm. Ana shu so'z bizga kerak subjectivity Su- subjective subjectivity ni uh, adjective shakli bo'ladi. Demak, biz qanday uh, tasavvur qilishimiz tiniq uh, subyektiv deyapti. Tiniq tabiiyki, juda ham subyektiv degan ma'noda. One person's vivid scene could be another's. Mana gapni o'zi kelyapti. Grainy picture. <laughs> Grainy picture. Demak, bitta odamni uh, tiniq tasviri bo'lishi mumkin boshqa bosh and others and others 
grainy picture. Mana shu grainy picture ni olib qo'yib ko'rsak, bu yerga gapni o'qib ko'ramiz keyin. Demak, aytyapti, the, uh, there are a lot of subjectivity in comparing people's imagination. Demak, odamlarni o'sha solishtirganda, deyapti, uh, tasavvurni solishtirganda juda ham ko'p subyektivlik bor. Somebody's vivid scene tepadagi gap could be mana shu joygacha bir xil kelyapti. Another bu yer ham bir xil, faqat endi another persons demagan tepada, faqatki anothers degan person tushirib qoldirgan. Grainy picture. Mhm, mm ya'ni o'sha eski bir sifatli past surat degan ma'noda. Prof Zeman 12-savol. Prof Zeman is nimador? That a fantasia is not an illness. Mhm. Mm Demak, bu yerda qandaydir bir Prof Zeman, Prof Zeman bu borasida qandaydir bir a, esladim gapni. Hozir qaytamiz orqaga. Demak, Prof Zeman deyapti. Prof Zeman nimadir degan shu yerda. Ya'ni o'z Prof Zemanning fikri, o'zining fikri haqida gap ketyapti bu yerda. That gap davom etyapti. A fantasia is not an is not an illness. Demak, a fantasia kasallik emas. O'tgan safar tarjima qilgan edik shu joyni ham. Prof Zeman. Prof Zeman haqida kelgan joydan davom ettiramiz. Hmm. Tut tut. Mana bu yerni belgilab qo'yamiz. Xo'p, but Prof Zeman is certain that a fantasia is real. Mhm. Mm Mana shu so'z bo'lishi mumkin bizga. Prof Zeman is certain that a fantasia is real. Xo'p, mana shu certainni olib turamiz. Qo'yib ko'ramiz certainni bu yerga. Prof Zeman is certain that a fantasia is not an illness. Is not an illness. Yo'q, bu to'g'ri kelmaydi qaytamiz. Illness haqida gap ketyapti. Bu yerda aytyapti, Prof Zeman is certain that a fantasia is real. Davom etib o'qib ko'ramiz. People often report being uh, being able to dream in pictures and there have been reported cases of people losing the ability to think in images after a brain injury. He is adamant that a fantasia is not a disorder. Mhm. Mana bu kerak bizga. Mana shu joyi o'zi. Demak, he is adamant. Mana shu so'z kerak bo'ladi bizga. He is adamant that a fantasia is not a disorder. Disorder ham bu kasallikni, kasallik meditsina haqida gap ketganda kasallik, ya'ni illness ga sinonim bo'ladi. Not a disorder, not an illness. Demak, bizga adamant so'zi kerak. He is adamant that a fantasia is not a disorder. Ya, kelamiz. Prof Zeman is so'zni qo'yamiz is adamant hmm? adamant adamant that a fantasia is not an illness u yerda illnessni o'rnida disorder so'zi kelgan edi disorder yoki okay, illness sinonim so'zlar bo'ladi endi oxirgi savolimiz many people spend their lives with nimadir so's somewhere in their mind's eye demak aytyapti Ko'p odamlar hayotlarini sarflashadi with bilan nimadir so'z qayerdadir in in the mind's eye demak tasavvurlarida in the in the mind's eye many people spend their lives mhm oxirgi gap qoldik o'zini o'qib ko'rsak menimcha o'zi topishimiz kerak shu yerlardan xo'p mana bu joy Ni belgilaymiz, davom etamiz. And says it may affect up to 1 in 50 people, but he adds, I think it makes quite an important difference to their experience of life because many of us spend our lives with imagery hovering somewhere in the mind's eye. Mhm. Mana shu narsa kerak bizga. Xo'p. Demak, aytyapti, many of us spend our lives with imagery hovering somewhere in the mind's eye. Mana shu hovering so'zi kerak bo'ladi bizga. Demak, aytyapti, bizlarni ko'pchiligimiz hayotimizni sarflaymiz with imagery, imagery, tasa o'sha imagelar bilan somewhere in the mind's eye. Es e'tibor bersangiz, pastdagi gap bilan deyarli bir xil. Many people Many people, many of us. Many people, many of us spend their lives with with 
uh, with with this with hovering imagery so the name of the image imagery chunky mama chuk my colada the make the zikere boladion mm-hmm i'm not sure the make lives with imagery hovering somewhere in the mind's eye Demak, mana shu javobimiz bo'ladi imagery. Endi bu yerda imagery ni ham qo'shganimiz sababi with hovering somewhere desangiz, ma'nosi sal g'alatiroq bo'lib qoladi. Shuning uchun imagery hovering ni ikkitasini qo'ysangiz bo'ladi. Chunki bu yerda bizda no more than two words degan, ya'ni ikkita so'z qo'ysak ham bo'ladi. Agar grammatika jihatdan yoki ma'no jihatdan buzilmasa, ikkita so'zni qo'yishingiz mumkin bo'lsa, demak, ikkita so'zni qo'yishingiz kerak bo'ladi. Xo'p Mana do'stlar, bu video darsligimiz juda ham uzun bo'ldi. Umid qilamanki, oxirigacha yetib keldingiz. Agar shu yergacha ko'rgan bo'lsangiz, qoyil sabringizga. Xo'p, keyingi darsliklarda ko'rishguncha salomat bo'ling. Video darsiga borasida o'zingiz fikringizni albatta kommentariyada yozib qoldiring. Xo'p, keyingi darslarda xudo xolasa yana ko'rishamiz.